And we'll get back in once again to the Varsity Sports Network's 2022 BSN Daytona Media Days here from Elevate Fun, Sanford Town Center. It's been a great day showcasing some of the best high school athletes across Central Florida. I'm Bobby Allen with the Varsity Sports Network. Thanks so much for tuning in. And I am pleased to be joined once again by our very own Dan LaForest. Also, Mark Line, who is with Orlando Sports Foundation and very involved with the Cure Classic Games. Uh, and also Josh Wilson with FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com and also the Varsity Sports Network. Uh, so, Dan, you know, you've been involved with these two gentlemen for a long time yeah. uh, through every angle of high school football uh, and charity events and all-star games. Talk about how important the work that they do is for what we're trying to do at the Varsity Sports Network. Well, first of all, I think we have to go back to what we were talking about earlier, Team VSN, you know. And it's a collaboration of everybody who loves this game across the state of Florida working together to work harder at something. You know, it's it's always better when you have a collaboration no matter what it is. You know, Elon Musk gave us the best quote a couple years ago. If you're the smartest guy in the room, leave the room. And we all have a great deal of respect for each other and a love of, of working for the betterment of, of the sport and the sure. kids. And... You know, to, to team up, first of all, I want to talk about teaming up with FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com and that that announcement last week with Josh Wilson. We're going to be the largest multimedia company in the state of Florida covering high school sports. And that is a big deal. Sure. And, um, you know, I know Josh has a lot to, to really bring to, to that equation. And, and, Josh, you know, we're so happy to have you on board. Well, I appreciate that, Dan. I know I, I'm not really one for much praise of, of a lot of things because it's, at the end of the day, it's about the kids, about the teams, what we're about to do here yeah. with all this. But, you know, also I wanted to bring Mark on, too, because, you know, Mark, at the end of the day, what you do or, you know, with the, with the Cure, Cure All-Star game and, and what it has grown to over the years, and I've been a fortunate – to partner up with you the last few years with it now vsn's a broadcast partner with it but the media days itself how does it help you with the process of being in front of the coaches and getting to know the players because ultimately trying to figure out what players you're going to invite to that game that's a process in all by itself isn't it that's a challenge but one that we love and fortunately we've got coaches and uh, sports figures like yourselves who can help us determine just who are the best athletes to play in the game. But more importantly, it goes beyond just the all-star game. It has a lot to do with what you did here today to give exposure to these young athletes, to uh, give the coaches an opportunity to talk about their team, what they're trying to accomplish. And when you're talking about all of the teams in Central Florida, they want to provide for those young men a possibility to grow up and learn the traits of life that will help them go on beyond their high school careers. So our little game, and I don't call it a little game at the end of the year because it's an important one. It's a big game. But it's, it's really just an opportunity for them to conclude a portion of their whole careers. Sure. And what we're doing with VSN and partners is fabulous. Yeah. What sure. you're doing today is gives them a, a head start. Yeah. And so they kick off on Monday with practice. Uh, I know they're excited about that. It's the beginning of the school year. Yeah. And uh, so it takes all of us working yeah. together to help these kids achieve the, what they want to and their goals of life. You know, the other thing, too, I want to talk about, Bobby, is the media partners that showed sure. up today. Channel 6 here locally, w, uh, WKMG, yep. uh, they came in and did some Sentinels. Our partnership yep. with the Orlando Sentinel, they came in and did a lot of great coverage. J.C. Carnahan and his crew, uh, Buddy Collins, uh, hopefully he'll be here Saturday. Yep. But um, And also you got Central Florida Preps, Charles Absolutely. Jones. You know, talking to a guy that works outstandingly across the area promoting kids and gets compensated nothing for sure. it. The guy just does it for the passion of the game. We had Josh Vasquez from Big Hits Live. I'll tell you what, nobody works harder than that guy in the 7-on-7 seven -seven circuit and yeah. promoting youth and high school football and does a wonderful job. Yeah. Um, and that's just to mention a few. You know, we also have uh, – who else was here, Josh? I mean, I know you mentioned Daytona Beach News Journal. They were the Leesburg Daily Commercial. Absolutely. I mean, get, yeah. get, uh, you, the USA Today Gannett no, no, Network, you know, the, yes. you know they, they own a lot of the newspapers in the state. And, you know, you know we're going to have – there's going to be a lot involved with that. Yeah, we got a big announcement coming up with the USA Today Network. 
the collaboration across the state of Florida. We have a big announcement coming up with him here, yeah. here in the next couple of weeks. And I know John Santucci and Chris Boyle and the rest of those guys are going to be excited when we do let this out of the bag. I but mean, they're, they're, they're good guys. Uh, they're, they're awesome, and they've been great partners, and, and we've got some special things coming up with them. But, you know, again, you know, to have the, the, the media collaboration to be part of this because – these kids got maximum exposure today getting ready for that 2022 season. Well, and, and spinning off of that, I think one of the greatest takeaways that I have, and, and I come from 16 years of our heart radio, and in that in that industry, you know, there were only a certain number of teams who got that exposure and got that, that level of, of uh, showcasing, right? right. Uh, this today is a perfect example of we have leveled the playing field from a – from a media and a, and a showcase perspective, to every one of the teams that showed up today, they got equal time, equal questions, equal representation. And don't think for a minute those teams don't take this back to their communities and say, "Guess what we did today? Guess guess what we were on today? Yeah, we're going to be seen all over the country today." Yeah. You know, and I think that's something that we've missed. And I know Mark can agree with this. And Josh, as heavily as he's involved with the high school game, is we need to start celebrating the guys that went one and nine. You know, it's hard to put together a program today. You've got the tra- open transfer rule. Yeah. You know, you've got teams that build, and, and traditional media want to talk to the top six or seven teams. Listen, I want to talk to every guy that puts on a helmet sure. in the state of Florida. Every guy that goes out there and puts in the work over the summer, they all deserve the same time of treatment. And, and the biggest goal is to get them here yep. in the first place. Yep. And, you know, on what on the back end, you know, it's getting these emails out to these teams, getting the coaches rounded up, making them phone calls because, you know, sometimes, you know, they're not checking their messages. It's summer, you know, there's summer vacation. Yeah. Going on. There's all sorts of stuff going on. And really, this thing starts not it, it doesn't it doesn't come together in 24, 48 hours. This is this is this is months of work and it's you know and you know at the end of the day, there's so much we learn from these events that you know we're gonna make this even better for 2023. Yeah. And but you know, right now we're focused on 2022 and this is gonna be huge, you know, with the with the remaining media days we got this week and next week, and of course, right right up as we're backing up right into when school starts on August yeah. 10th for most. The uh, counties in the state Absolutely. of Florida. Let me let me take an opportunity to interview uh, introduce somebody else into this conversation. He snuck in down at the end of the table on us. Uh, representing <laughs> Catapult Sports, uh, it is Dwight Thomas. Dwight, thanks so much for coming out today. Um, you've obviously been involved in football in this state for a long time. Um, give us your perspective on what what an event like this means for exposure for some of these communities and teams that don't necessarily get the limelight. You can't put a price tag on what this means. You I, just to see all my coaching friends and to see them with their players, yeah. and to see them conduct themselves in the manner they're conducting themselves. And I heard more yes sir and no sirs today than I hear in a long time. Yeah. And I yes. tell them all when I hear it, you keep saying that. That'll take you a long way. I mean, that's a little small thing, but that's a big thing. And and we're able to, through this venue right here, get great exposure, not just for that player and that school, but for the state of Florida. Sure. And what a tremendous opportunity we have here. Yeah. It's just beginning. Yeah, yeah, you're exactly right. It's just beginning. And and to the yes or no sir thing, that was something I picked up on the second team that came in today. And it was so refreshing. Yes. To to yeah. have that happen because what I took away from it is those kids were genuine. They they really appreciated what we were doing and they were thrilled to be able to shake our hands and say thank yeah. you. And that goes that's a, that's a great compliment as I can be given. And, and, and you know another thing is you know for for them and, and that yes sir no sir it's also preparing them for a lot of these guys that are going to sure. play on Saturdays after they graduate high school. This this is yeah. this is a start. Hey, you, what you're experiencing here now, you're going to be seeing it. You're going to be seeing it come at the college level. Yeah, yeah and, you know, and, and, and this NIL. is this, yeah, this is this is the big deal, you know. And, and again, we keep talking about NIL, but you know, guys, NIL is coming to high school. Sure. And it's in the college level. It's coming to high school. It's going to be here b- before you know it. And there are so many things that we have the power now. We have a platform to improve high school sports here in the state of Florida and the partnerships that we're, we're building. The sponsors that are coming on with VSN, you guys are all part of Team VSN, and I've been talking about that all day. But to sit down with these guys and help them understand how they carry themselves, how they talk, it's all part of that process. Everybody wants to, not many know how to. Sure. That's a good point. Uh, I'd like to add to that and say that it's 
what you're doing here today is highlighting what these high school sports coaches and schools are doing for these young men. Yes. They're creating yes. a, a lifestyle, if you will, or at least helping them develop the attributes that can carry on into business and into the uh, futuring of their own careers. 100%. 100%. And it, it takes a team effort to do what we're doing here. This is not just, again, It's not, this was not overnight. This is not, you know, I mean, it takes a lot of effort to bring this together. And, and of course, you know, someone like Dwight Thomas here, you know, bringing, you know, being able to come here and get the information that he needs to help get to those, get, get these guys exposure even further than what we're doing to the college coaches that, you know, to get that information to them. This is huge. This is critical because, you know, these guys, you know, you know, some, not, not, not everyone's going to go play college football. We know that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, for a lot of these guys to have those to be able to get a scholarship offer regardless of the level this is huge and they have to they have people like dwight here you know and dan you know it's brought you know brought the, the, the team bsn together sure. it, it's it's huge for what yeah. we're doing here i'll tell you another thing i love today very few kids ever have one of these in their hands sure <laughs> Every kid here today had one of these in their hand. Sure. And you learn a lot about kids when that's in their hand. <laughs> Isn't that true? I mean, my, and and even, even with some of the teams I've talked to, you know, doing some podcast stuff, you know, that's separate to this, they're, they're sitting there, you know, you can, you can just tell some of them, some of them, you know, may, may have been done this before sure. a little bit, but some of them, you know, a lot of them are new to this. And this is a great experience for them and a great exposure for them you to be able to get, to, get, to get this in and get the, you know, recognition they deserve. Yeah. Uh, Dwight, real quick, I, I, I want to – have you talk about your involvement with Catapult? Thank you. Thank you. We're, we're Catapult Sports. We uh, provide the wearables, the GPS wearables to determine miles per hour sure. and all about kids. We're putting that on everybody now that we're coming in contact with. And yeah. we have some great things lined up in the future here with Mark and Dan and Josh to get it on more kids. It's, yeah. it's a tremendous new high technology that that all the NFLers and all yeah. the colleges are using. Now we're taking it to high school. Sure. It's tremendous. Sure. And it's the future. Sure. Well, guys, thanks so much. Um, once again, Dwight Thomas uh, with Catapult Sports, Josh Wilson High School, or FloridaHighSchoolFootball.com, and the Varsity Sports Network. Uh, Mark Line, Orlando Sports Foundation. Uh, also involved with the Cure Bowl Classics and All-Star Games. Thank you so much. And our very own Dan LaForest uh, for the Varsity Sports Network. Guys, thank you. Uh, we'll be back here to close things out from Elevate Fun right here at Sanford. This is the 2022 VSN Daytona Media Days right here on the Varsity Sports Network. Yeah, I was going to have you. Just the ships, the armor, or the aircraft. It's something more. It's the will to fight and determination to win, found inside each and every Marine that answers a nation's call. Battles won. Sharing the road is everyone's responsibility. Commercial vehicles don't maneuver like passenger vehicles and can't stop quickly. Large trucks and buses have a nose zone, blind spots in front, behind, and on both sides of the vehicle. Stay out of the no zone and never tailgate. Always pass a commercial vehicle on the left for best visibility and watch for wide turns. Give them extra space. Find out more ways to stay safe. Share the road, Florida, and arrive alive. For every generation, it has started with the call to serve. 
discovering the purpose and the belonging earned with the title. Learning to dig deep and push through adversity together. Defending our nation and its people. It is a life of great worth and reward. But Marines are never really finished serving. Their commitment comes full circle, visible in communities across our country. This is Semper Fidelis, always faithful, always Marine, marking a path for the next generation.